Hey, HGD from Death Wears Bunny Slippers. This is going to be the first of a few, maybe two, three, four episodes on utilities. How do we get the utilities in here? Uh, so what we're going to show you first is the septic system. We've had a number of questions on the septic system and how it works. So we're going to show you. <clears throat> so Sam, if you can, uh, I'm going to crawl under here. Don't get my crack in the shot. No crack. Hey, no cracks. Okay. Come on in. Okay, you see me okay? Yeah. Okay, so what we have is a five horsepower pump. There's two pumps, you can see them side by side here, that originally came with, uh, so the literal pump came with it. The motors were on here, but they were nasty, and you guys said, oh, rebuild them. They're three phase, they were junked. I, they're junked. So we put a new five horsepower, I, I had to machine a, an adapter because the shaft size was different for this coupling right here. This has power, so it could fire off any time. The way this works, <coughs> sorry, the way this works is there's a float switch right there. Can you see that back there, Sam? That little brass looking thing. Yeah, right here. <coughs> Let me just, uh, no crap. Here. So this thing right here is a float switch. So what this does is this raises, okay? This raises up. It activates that switch. So if I did that, it would turn on right now. It activates that switch and it fires the motor. This um, float switch is pretty cool. It alternates motors. So I don't have the other motor hooked up yet. It's up top right above us right here. So what it does is it operates back and forth. Then it pumps. This, this goes down about seven feet below the surface. So this frog is kind of interesting. He's like been an Easter egg in every shot and he just shows up. So yeah, he's still alive. Um, so then the water pushes out and up, and we're going to show that shot in a minute. But this right over here is the check valve. So it's a one-way valve. Water goes up, doesn't come back. On occasion, it sticks open, which is interestingly fun, because water comes back and it reverses the motor. It's not <clears throat> the biggest deal in the world, because the line, how much water or waste can be in the line, uh, is less than uh, what can go into this tank. So it doesn't ever overflow but it does cause it to loop, which is not good, but it's only happened once, so we'll kind of see what happens. Uh, this other check valve is right here. So I've had it rebuilt already, so it's gonna go in over there. It's just not in place right now. Uh, so this is hooked up, for those of you electrical type people, this is hooked up on a relay. Sam, if you tip up right here. This is not permanent wiring, because <clears throat> I know you guys are gonna yell at me. But this relay is fired off of 120 volts low amperage here, so when that switch connects, it, uh, it fires this relay, which turns around and fires this pump. So we're going to show you how this works, but before we get out of here, look down here, Sam. So if you guys look down here, I don't know how that's going to, well, that's going to show up. There we go. Nice new camera. Um, how that shows up, and what that is, is you see water under level three. That's normal. It won't be. <clears throat> Sorry. And down there, that's the old float switch, that thing you see the light on. Uh, that round circular thing is the old float switch, right there. That's the old float switch. So that's busted. We're going to put a new float switch in there, actually just like this one. Uh, but right now we just have a cheap float switch like you get at your local big box store. So uh, what happens, we have a, another pump down there that goes through this orange hose. And this orange hose is just tucked in this hole. That's where the plumbing septic, the waste, will go. So we have an adapter. So all the waste from the kitchen, which is to our right, so you guys, yeah, take a nice pan shot of that, Sam. So um, you see over there, that's, uh, that's where the kitchen plumbing and electrical will all come down. And then it will all waste into here. This is ventilation. So right back there is ventilation. That's actually copper. So a lot of that got taken. <clears throat> so that vents this tank. One of the challenges is going to be we have to vent that somewhere outside. Um, Still haven't quite got that figured out. Right now it's just water, so there's no uh, waste ventilation. So let's show you how this works. So Sam, go ahead and back out. Be careful. Okay, so Sam, I'm gonna have you come back in here. So what I'm going to do before you do that, so I'm gonna go ahead and plug in the pump. So this is just a one horsepower pump down there. 
Hopefully we don't burn up that power strip in the process because I wanted to light these lights. So Sam, come on here. Okay, don't roll that. That's good enough. Okay. So right now water's coming in uh, to the tank. So it's being pumped from underneath level three. And then hopefully you can see that starting to rise. It hasn't started yet, but it will start to rise. All right, so as you can see, now it's finally started to move after a couple of minutes of filling up. Okay, now it would have fired the other pump. But since that doesn't do anything yet. pump that was filling that just so you can kind of see so that took probably about two to three minutes four minutes for it to fill up that's with a one horsepower pump with a two inch uh, hose on it so I think that I think the tank is a couple or is like a thousand gallons or so with losses let's say it's holding 700 or so gallons Sorry, where this is all going is right here. So there's a hose because remember this can flex. And then it goes through here. Sorry, Sam, I'm gonna let you get in here. So you can see that. So if you guys look to the right of it, so if you guys look to the right, here Sam, go to the right, just see that hydraulic? So that's how we can open and close it, but that's just a huge valve. And the way So this is just, that's just a huge valve. And the way it originally worked is if there was nuclear war, when the alarms or whatever would siren, they would push a button, and this hydraulic would automatically close. So that was, again, to completely seal the facility from anything outside, uh, uh, from any outside pressures. So that's what, uh, yeah, so we use that. We'll shut that off if we need to do maintenance on it. But generally speaking, that should stay open for now. All right. So I think that's probably a good review. That's how the septic system works um, in a Titan II. Now we're going to move on to the second part of this video over here. So that pump just got done. So that emptied that tank, I don't know, probably 90 seconds is my guess, two minutes or so. And so fully emptied the tank, it's all outside. Uh, what we're doing with it outside, we'll have to do in another video. Right now we're just sending it out to the ground. Again, it's just water uh, from down here. So eventually we'll have to do septic tanks, and etc. The challenge though, keep this in mind, the challenge though is a septic tank is not designed to have pressure. It's not designed to have, you know, all of a sudden 700 to 1,000 gallons be pushed to it. So there's some challenges that we're going to have to think through. I actually don't know what we're going to do yet. I'm thinking maybe two tanks, one to take the initial pressure, the other one to relieve into. So not quite sure. Second part of this video, though. Uh, during the tour, the tour did happen, the last video did happen uh, ahead of time, meaning we've done some stuff that we haven't explained. But again, I wanted to, you know, we wanted to do something really nice for you guys since you waited and, you know, New Year and all that cool stuff. So what we're doing here, the next part of this video is we had to cap all of these off. These are conduits that go to the outside. It's all original to the site, but we're using them. Again, this is water coming in. Not, it's just, you know, nothing yet. Electricity's coming in the bottom. We have communications that will come through here. So I have a whole bundle, uh, Cat6, uh, RG58 for satellite and cellular repeater, uh, uh, ham radio type stuff. Uh, there's something else I just can't think of it right now. All of that is coming in through a different uh, portal. It's not done yet. But this part of the video is we've had these sealed for years. One of these also may be ventilation for that part. Thank you, Sam, for that part over there. Um, I think that's what we're going to do is one of these will vent the septic system. Probably is what we'll end up doing. Thanks for reminding me. Um, so what you're gonna see in this video coming up is we have all of these, uh, again, exposed on top side. 
but we need to clean them out so we can start running some of these wires in here. So that's what you're going to see in this video. And um, it's kind of fun because there's water built up in these. So we had to have these sealed so water didn't fill this place up uh, when we weren't here. Well, so we're gonna cut to that and us opening this up. Thank you. I'm wondering if I should uh, even have my camera out or not. I don't think you should. I mean, that's gotta be a lot of water coming out of that. All right. One clicks. Water's already dripping. This one has water in it. A lot of it. It's gonna pop that thing off. Should just all of a sudden. Got junk out, so. Okay. Oh, number one didn't do anything. All right. Option number two. Okay. It doesn't look like there's much. <laughs> <laughs> I think I I think quite a bit of air was <laughs> plugged up in there. Yeah, but the only reason it has that kind of pressure is if there's something else behind it. I think that's plugged or something. I think that one's eventually gonna have something come out of it. Let's keep this Ready? plastic on these. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Yeah, I think this one leaks kind of a little bit on its own, so I don't think it'll have any water behind it. Oh, okay then. That one did have a good pop, though. Yeah, the other one did, for sure. That water looks much cleaner than the others. If this thing's like one of those super pressurized ones, then the camera's gonna have fun. <laughs> yeah. This one's got pressure. Oh, yeah, it does. All right, quicker. That's still a decent amount of water. Oh, there's a frog there. Right? Oh my goodness, there is. <laughs> he's like, I've been trapped in there for 200 years. <laughs> <laughs> no, he didn't come out of there. I don't know. I, don't know. I think he's just sitting there the whole time. I, I don't. I don't remember seeing him. I've seen him there before. I don't know if he's alive or not. You alive? Mm -hmm. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. If it's like sorry, it's dripping water. Well so far this has been a bit anticlimactic. I expected a I expected a ray of water. Yeah. That's why we had 15 different cameras set up. <laughs> oh, that was a decent one. Alright, watch out. This could get us some pressure, okay? Okay. Oh. Alright, down here. Oh, that's got something on it. Got some 
pressure there. Oh, wow. Oh. <laughs> there we go. That's what we wanted. That GoPro just got destroyed. <laughs> That's what we wanted. <laughs> that freaking blew the plastic up. <laughs> See? So you're like, oh, are you, where's all the water going? So look down here. I know you've seen this in other shots. But down here, remember this, remember this floor is about four feet above the actual bottom. So underneath of here is concrete floor, again, about four feet underneath this floor. And it actually has a sump pump built in. So, well, actually it did. We're gonna have to put a new one in. I had one in, the pump went bad, different story. Uh, so anyway, so this, all this water down here was just here from these leaking. So this was intentional. We, we knew it was gonna go under here and we're gonna clean it otherwise, so. All right, we got one more left to go. Ooh, already. some rocks in there. Yeah. <laughs> Hold on, I need to straighten this out. Yeah, that's good. Oh, they got two good ones. <laughs> okay, so the next step is, if you notice, these have all have like you know, different fittings on them and such. Like this one's been cut. So our next job is we're gonna have to cut these off. I've tried to get this off with a huge pipe wrench, but this is curved. So this wall is curved. So I can't get a good, even a big breaker bar on it, I can't. So we're gonna come in here with a uh, cutting disc on the grinder and just cut all of these flush to this brass fitting right here. And that way we can, uh, then we're gonna feed stuff down and this is gonna be where all the electricity, water, communications, everything comes in. So, that was kind of fun, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> so that's how we opened that. Kind of fun, not too dangerous, but super fun to open these up. We thank you very much for everything you do for us, subscribing, sharing with your friends. Uh, we're definitely more active on Twitter now, DW, at DW Bunny Slippers. Uh, check us out on Twitter also. Uh, Patreon, what else do I need? Oh, merchandise, we got all kinds of stuff. Thank you very much, and uh, we appreciate everything you guys do, and we'll see you in the next episode.